This video is part of the educational video series brought to you by Automatech. This video covers installing Prophecy Historian on an iFix SCADA. It is geared toward an audience installing Historian for the first time. In this video, we will discuss what to look for while you review your purchase, briefly discuss the Historian licensing model, and then follow a Historian installation step by step. When reviewing your purchase, keep in mind that there are two primary configurations available for the historian. The standard license is for archiving process data and includes the required collectors. The enterprise license includes all of the features of the standard license and additionally the alarm and event archiver and the transformation collectors. Both versions allow the use of the XL add-in and the OLAYDB provider. The license key controls several items about the historian. The license key is available as a USB device, a parallel device, or as a software license, which is also referred to as a keyless license. This key controls which options of historian are available to use, the number of distinct tags that you can collect, and the number of clients that can connect to the historian server. Note that these client connection restrictions do not apply to collectors or trending historical data in iFix and Simplicity. The license keys from GE are capable of containing licenses for any or all GE Intelligent Platform products at the same time, and therefore only recognize and use the information from one key at a time on each computer. If you have one key for Historian and one key for iFix and need them on the same computer, you need to have the licenses consolidated. Licenses can be combined and upgraded in the field after the proper request is processed by GE. Now, let's begin the installation. Once you have determined which historian options you are going to install, it is time to insert the disk and begin. Start by clicking Historian Installer. The installer initializes the installation process. Click Next, then accept the license agreement. You are presented with a dialog to select which features to install. Remember that on a distributed system, not all the options will be on the server, and you would select different options for collector machines and clients. On a single computer system like we are building, all the required options will be installed in this one session. If you find that you need other options later, simply repeat the process and select the new options that you skipped during the initial installation. It is important to know that you should not unselect any options if you are adding new components, as this will remove them from the system. The Historian server is automatically selected. The administrative website is only selected and available if you have a web server like IIS installed on the server already. I will add the alarm and event collector to the installation to permit logging alarms and events to the Historian server. The alarm and event archiver is a licensed option and is included in the enterprise license. The collectors are used to retrieve data from specific sources and send it back to the historian. The Simplicity collector is installed with enabled from Simplicity itself. The Calculation collector is a transformation collector. It is designed to retrieve data from the historian and calculate a new value which it stores in another tag. This is a licensed option included in the Enterprise version. The file collector is designed to import data into the historian from properly formatted CSV or XML files, allowing lab and other data to be included in the historian, as well as for importing from other sources. The iFix collector is for pulling data from Prophecy iFix. The iFix alarm and event collector is designed to capture alarm and event data from iFix through the Alarm and Event OPC server. The OPC collector is for taking data directly from OPC servers, such as the GE Industrial Gateway Server, IGS, or Rockwell RS Links. It installs a different instance for each OPC server on the same computer. The OPC Alarm Collector is a generic OPC A&E collector with similar capabilities to the iFix A&E collector. The server-to-server -server collector is another transformation collector. 
but with the source on one historian server and the destination on another. This is a licensed option and is included in the enterprise license. The simulation collector is used for generating simulation data in the historian and is not required for production systems. I will deselect it. The OSIPI collector and distributor is for retrieving data from and sending data to OSIPI historians. This is a licensed option. The Historian Excel add-in is used to connect Microsoft Excel to the Historian as an analysis and management tool. It requires Microsoft Excel on the machine on which you are installing it. The Historian Administrator is the main configuration tool for Historian. It can be installed on any computer you wish to have Historian administration available, not just the Historian server. Prophecy client tools are required for communication between the server and clients, like the Excel add-in or administrator. Its installation is governed by other selected options. Historian documentation is recommended for installation. The OLEDB provider provides relational database-like access to the historian data using standard SQL commands. The HDA server provides OPC historical data access for OPC HDA clients. The user API is available to create custom applications for accessing the historian. This installs the necessary files and examples. The historian client access assembly is for .NET access to the historian and its installation is governed by the other options you select. Once we have selected the appropriate options, click Next to proceed. Historian can automatically add itself to the allowed programs for the Windows firewall, and this is recommended. Historian uses TCP port 14000 for its network communications and is normally in the blocked range of firewalls. The Alarm and Event Archiver requires a SQL database to store the collected alarms and events. If you do not have a SQL Server, you can install SQL Server 2008 Express as part of the historian setup. Be sure to record the SA password for the instance that you create. If you have an existing SQL Server, please consult with one of our application engineers for the additional requirements. This dialog is to select which installed OPC servers to connect Historian OPC collectors to. If you do not see your required OPC server in the list, it is probably because you have not installed it yet. This example installation will use the native iFix collector, so I would not select either in this case. I will select the iFix OPC client only as an example, as it is usually not needed. Next we review the installation folder for the executables and support files. Note that the next dialog is to specify the location of the data archives. Here we configure the path for the historian data archives. If you have a D or other drive for the files, you can easily browse to and select a different location. Mapped drives are not recommended for the historian archives. This dialog is a review of the installation configuration. Review the settings and go back if you need to make any changes. Click Next to proceed with the installation. This video has been provided by Automatech. Automatech, delivering automation solutions to industry. We make plant information flow.